Global Alliance leader says such claims can't be further from the truth. Sasha Leibold has the story. Is Democratic National Alliance leader Branville McCartney really in cahoots with the governing Free National Party? Well, that's certainly what local talk show radio host Steve McKinney would have you believe. In fact, he said as much during his talk show hard copy last evening. However, Mr. McCartney says such rumors are spread by political operatives trying to break him down. I resigned from the AFNM on the 21st of March. Um, these talks, alleged talks, are totally untrue, um, totally unfounded. I've said on many, many occasions the DNA was started uh, because we want a better way for this country, a better life for Bahamians. We want to invest in Bahamians. We saw that, and I particularly saw, being in the FNM, that we were not headed in that direction. Um, I would like to see our country head in a different direction. We have never, and I have not spoken or made any type of arrangement with the Free National Movement. I've said publicly from the day we launch that we will not join the FNM or we will not join the PLP. We've been asked to do it by the PLP. We've had opportunities to do it, but that has not happened. That will not happen. And as for Mr. McCartney's bid to run on the DNA's ticket in the upcoming general election? Mr. McKinney, is, um, he was a member of the body. Um, from my understanding, he's still a member of the party. And um, um, he's, he, he was very interested in a nomination. Um, and things just couldn't work out in that regard. We don't, um, we, we have someone uh, who will be running in the Fort Charlotte constituency. And um, I understand uh, he may be a bit upset about that. But that's how it is. That's how it is. You move on. The DNA leader says by early January, his party will reveal its final seven candidates. Reporting for JCN News, I'm Sasha Lightborn. You're watching JCN.